Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest games to make you rage cheat. For this list, we're taking a look at difficult games that'll infuriate you so much you might resort to cheating. Which games made you so mad that you resorted to cheating? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Castlevania 2: Simon's Quest. The first Castlevania was hard enough with enemies that cause knockback and send you falling down pits, but Castlevania 2 somehow found a way to make things harder. It wasn't by simply throwing more enemies on the screen, though. This time, players had to explore the world and go to locations in a particular order. Unfortunately, Castlevania 2 doesn't really give you any hints as to where you need to go, or how to solve the puzzles. So expect to wander around aimlessly until you finally decide to pull up a walkthrough. No judgment if you do. Number 9, SimCity 2000. As basic as they might look at first glance, city management and management games in general are a lot harder than they seem, and this is especially true of SimCity 2000. Part of what makes this title tricky for players is how you need to get the tax rate high enough to fund your projects and low enough to get people to move into your city. Sure, you can spend your time trying to find that sweet spot, or you can use a cheat code that gives you cash instantly. Better be careful if you go the latter route, however, as your chances of facing a disaster will increase upon each use. Number 8, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The NES Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has its moments when it comes to difficult levels, but the most infuriating of all is that damned damn level. Here, you'll have to disarm bombs while navigating around electrified seaweed and currents. Surely there must be a way to bypass these aquatic threats and even skip the level, right? Well, kind of. It is possible to rig the game where the seaweed is totally harmless, but to do this, you would have needed a Game Genie or some other game hacking device. Earliest example of pay to win? We like to think so. Number 7, Twisted Metal Black. As what could arguably be described as the hardest game in the franchise, Twisted Metal Black kicked the asses of many players with its relentless AI and lethal weaponry. Do we dare mention the torment that was the Minion and Warhawk boss fights? If you really wanted to see every character's ending, you either had to play until you were a freaking master, or just press a few buttons and activate God Mode. For the record, one of our staff is a massive Twisted Metal fan, and even he had to resort to this cheat just to save his sanity. Number 6, Final Fantasy VIII. One of the annoying things about RPGs is the massive amounts of grinding and XP farming that some of them will force you to sit through. Can't beat this one boss that's blocking the progression of the story? Well, get comfy because you got at least a few hours of grinding to do. This issue was especially true of Final Fantasy VIII, to the point that Square Enix thankfully implemented a cheat menu in the remaster. If you aren't interested in committing a few hours to doing effortless battles, you can use this cheat menu to save yourself some time by speeding up the game, maxing out your HP, or getting full ATB and unlimited limit breaks. If only more RPGs did stuff like this. Number 5, Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is fondly remembered for its cartoony visuals and goofy yet groovy hero. Something that many seem to forget, however, is just how difficult this 2D platformer really was. Those who do remember probably recall extreme frustration and may have even resorted to a handful of cheat codes to make their time easier. There are cheats for giving yourself extra lives, extra continues, refills on energy and ammo, level skipping, level warping, and even a debug menu that grants access to more cheats. Hey, if the going gets tough, take the easy route. Number 4, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. <coughs> 
Turok was a tough game by design, but the level of difficulty went beyond the tough AI and unforgiving platforming. No, what made Turok complicated was the weird control scheme, for which the Nintendo 64's awkward controller design was at least partially to blame. If you are one of the folks who struggled to grasp the controls, you probably resorted to taking the free scripted will away from the AI. And by that we mean a cheat code. Typing in the code SNFFRR will activate the game's disco mode, rendering enemies defenseless and forcing them to dance. Or if you really wanted a power fantasy, you'd trigger the big cheat, which enables invincibility, unlimited ammo, level warps, the whole enchilada. Number 3, Battletoads. Ah yes, the old school classic that has both amused and enraged players around the world. Battletoads has admittedly reached the top spot in a number of our difficult games lists, but thankfully there is a way to make things easier. If you've died too many times on the speeder bike levels or fallen at the hands of some basic grunt, you can use a cheat code that starts you off with a few extra lives. If you had a Game Shark or Game Genie, however, you could simply get infinite lives. No, it didn't make the game a breeze, but at least the game overs were less frequent. Number 2, Super Star Wars. Given the mass appeal of Star Wars, you wouldn't think that this video game would be so punishingly hard. But Super Star Wars is merciless. Because enemies spawn in at a continuous rate, you progress through levels at a snail's pace. We may not have known these cheats back then, but there are ways to get past those asinine levels. You can give yourself some extra continues, or make it so that you start the level with your lightsaber. You can even access a nice debug menu which lets you tamper with stage selection, your health values, which weapon you start with, and how many lives you have. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Contra We all know why this is on here. Contra is not only one of the hardest games ever made, but it's also the one that popularized the famous Konami code. The old up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA has saved us a number of times, and in this case, it was by giving us 30 extra lives. Trust us, in a game as maddening as Contra, with bullets flying all over the place, you need all the help you can get. Since this cheat helped us through an infamously tough game, it's been referenced in a handful of other games, as well as movies, music, and television. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.